Hey everyone, Dave Ryan, December 1773. If you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, or Rumble, like and comment on the video. Comment below. Uh, what do you think of Dr. Peterson and the news that he has to be, he must be re-educated. Just so everyone knows what this, where this is coming from. Real quick, we'll put this up. Jordan Peterson ordered to undergo re-education on his uh, training for speaking his mind. Um, and he has to pay for it, too, according to the article. He's been... <laughs> for... An, they don't even know how long. It could be forever. It's up to the guy who's doing the training. Very democratic. Yes. That's Canada for you. This is... This is a... Uh, Ryan, I... You start. This is, this is literally wild. what he... This is literally what he said was going to happen. I think it was, what, Title 21, whatever, when it was all about the transgender thing, and he spoke out. Hello, everybody, mm -hmm. first of all. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, literally what he said was going to happen, that this is a slippery slope between this and uh, Communist China and Russia and Nazi Germany and... Uh, Mussolini and it just basically this is the road to authoritarianism it's always interesting when people predict what's going to happen to them hmm. you know of course uh, Andrew Tate has done this recently but it's 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 interesting to see uh, when when they call when they call the shots they know what's happening it's like man, maybe they're not all that crazy and once again this is a very 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 educated man very intelligent very smart literally you know, without his social movement that he's created, like he was a psychologist, practicing clinician, a teacher at the University of Toronto, a, a doctor, wrote books and research papers. Not only that, but it was one of the most cited or the most cited psychologist in his field, if, if I remember correctly. Yes. So not just not just a guy who wrote books and, and which is enough, right? It's enough to be an expert to to be a part of all this but then to be cited by other experts in the field yeah and then that's the highest level that you're at you're on such a high level other people in your field who are also experts are looking to you for the answers yeah and then you look at his personal life which isn't all daisies and everything but he's a father and a grandfather and he has a wife and he grew up in this and like it's like once again the best of us and if they'll do this to the best of us, what are they going to do to the less best of us? It will be easier for them to do it to undereducated, you know, minorities or low income people because they're just, you know, affected by poverty and they need to be plugged into the system with all, all the unlimited money and resources we have so that we can teach them the best way to live their life and the best way to think because it's really just education that people are lacking. You know, education and resources is all people need to succeed. They don't need drive, ambition, desires, dreams, hopes. Those all seem like the same words, but they're not. Well, really what people need to succeed more than anything is just just plain and simple, take a risk. Yeah, and the ability to compete. Um, now, we've... we've known and said for a while trudeau and canada they're they're much farther to the left than the media would have you know um th i guess this would be the biggest proof of that so far to date i mean i don't i don't know if you can think of anything that would be worse than this Them i mean they did dis they did disarm the whole nation i guess that would probably be right up there taking firearms um and also when the canadian truckers and people that supported them they threatened to take their bank accounts or, oh, when they told 6 million people or whatever in Toronto they can't leave their house because of the flu. So this is right up there in the top five, Ryan. This is right up there with the crime of the century, David. Literally the crime. And they're persecuting a guy that the internet hates. A certain, right? Like, there's a, it's binary half, with people. Half the internet, maybe? Yeah, it's just binary. It's like you're either with them or you fucking hate them. And once again, this is this this is Alex Peterson, Kanye, Kanye Tate. Tate, Russell Brand, Milo. Have you gotten more on the Tate thing? Apparently, Tate was was hospitalized. Is Tate was hospitalized for a incident while in custody. 
Now, on this program last week, we talked about Tate getting uh, apparently a pizza box, gave away his location with a GPS locator stapled to the bottom. <laughs> Under investigation for eight months. Yeah, where does he live? We don't know. Good thing the pizza guy's on our <laughs> payroll. <laughs> Giovanni down at fucking Jay's Pizza that, Spot or whatever. That whole fucking story is the most unbelievable thing that we've we've heard to date. I mean, it was it's it's the whole thing is ridiculous. The fact that they investigate him for so long and then then they're like, oh shit, I guess we don't have anything. Well, it's like the uh, the police came out and said, no, we knew where he lived, but it was just crazy how like mainstream media. It, it was all because Thurner fucking climax <laughs> activist. I kind of want to see if there's anything. Uh, uh, yeah, there. but he was rushed to the hospital. His brother's Instagram was uh, also taken down and canceled, um, banned. Well, currently I'm checking Elon's, Elon's Twitter to see if there's any updates. Uh, PBD Podcast um, did have a story about it on Twitter before we started filming today. I, I actually retweeted it. If you want to just go to my profile. Wallace, Andrew Tate. Has, or Wallace Speaks underscore. Andrew Tate was taken to the hospital. Andrew Tate's in the hospital. Tate's in the hospital. For the record, Andrew Tate said he would never take his own life. So, I'm sure uh, he had a jail cellmate that looked awfully similar similar to Jeffrey Epstein's cellmate. Due to an ailment, just an ailment. You know, that's that's. It, it just seems as of right now, it's so fresh that there's not much. There's not much more to this. Mm. Did he go with the pizza box? Is that how they... Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I know he didn't drop suddenly because he wasn't vaccinated, so I don't think that's related. My brother and I do whatever the fuck we want. COVID ain't real. What call is your Bugatti? I got... Yeah, nothing nothing new on the Tate stuff. But yeah, the, he's he's right up in there with, with all those people. You know, these people who are... And don't get it... All the horrible things that are going to happen, and then they happen. He's like, a, he's like a anti-government Nostradamus. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm next. Dave and I, we've talked about this. This, this isn't like for fame and notoriety. If anything, it just paints the target on your back to be targeted. If they're targeting, yeah, there's no reason to do this. Yeah, if they're targeting Peterson, <laughs> a fucking multi-millionaire with all the money for lawyers in the world, more than Dave and I, even though he could be ex- exhausted. Like, what are they going to do to you, the average person? What are they going to do to me and Dave, the people talking to the average people at bars, at the grocery store, at Target? They don't want that. And mind you, <clears throat> I'm assuring David that they're just building this re-education center, right? Like, this wasn't built beforehand, right? Like, the things in place to simply re-educate somebody, I'm sure, weren't, like, this devised for decades and harnessed and made perfect and perfect camps that have all the showering needs and the food necessities and payroll and funding and electricity and hot water see, tanks. See, I'm, we're calling it a re-education center when really it's just a regular education center, I believe. What color's the light bulb, David? <laughs> oh, you don't feel good? Why don't you go back on your medicine, Dr. Peterson? Why don't you go on the things that nearly broke you psychologically because you're psychologically unstable? And, oh, we know you're a psychological specialist, but you can't self-diagnose yourself because you're a narcissist and a psychopath. I, I want to see if he has anything. Uh, I know he's he's had a couple of things on here, but... Dude, if, they, if you don't think they would do that to Dr. Peterson, you're mistaken. They will do anything to sabotage this guy. And they've made it perfectly clear that they were willing to do that if they are willing to put this guy through a program, whatever program, I would love to know what law is actually allowing this, right? First of all. And second of all, I would love to know, like, where, once again, is this a funding? Is this a federal, pl- well, uh, Canadian well, place? I mean, he's funding it, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, There's, well, they got universal health care. What about my mental health and re-education? No, you got to pay for that. Well, yeah, you got to pay for that. It's just a deductible. Yeah. Yeah, so you, I can't get a doctor to fix my broken leg for six months, but you could re-educate me in six days. Make it make fucking sense. Show me the priorities of your, your civilization. I'll show you the outcomes. It doesn't look like he has anything, uh, anything super new on it, but yeah, that's... That, that, if, if you don't think 
If you think this is just stopping at Jordan Peterson in Canada, the reason they, we're bringing this up, it's not. It's they have only, them here. It's here. They have them in America. They actually it's have the whole country zoned in FEMA camp regions, David. And I happen to be in FEMA camp region two. And I'm assuming that the region, the the camp would be like a sports stadium or some colleges. Like an old football stadium? Like an old football stadium. <laughs> yeah, we're going to tear it down or what remodel do think, it. Why do you think New York paid so much for the new Bill Stadium? It's because they want the old one. Yeah, and all that high tech all that high tech equipment in there to spy on me so I can't leave and face scans and <laughs> well, just, the Department that's... of Homeland Security's got to be involved because sports stadium attacks are on the rise globally. Really? That sounds like a conspiracy. No, I remember years ago, you look on my Facebook, it was like 2016, David, I talked about how the Buffalo Bills, like the bill in Buffalo was passed to allow like the FBI or DHS to patrol the fucking games. I think I do remember something along those lines from you. Yeah, and I was like, uh, we're, we should be okay with getting our balls grabbed to go see somebody grab somebody else's balls. <laughs> like, this is like taking shoes off to fly on an airplane in a free country. I'm not free. Literally, we own that. We're supposed to fuck it. It's the Buffalo Bills, right? We're supposed to own the team. We're supposed to believe it's a community thing. Donate all this money for all these characters and all these people that are hurt by tragedies. But when it comes to tragedizing on all American civil liberties, meh. The military told me if I open my mouth, I don't get, you know, a billion dollars a year in tax free. Dave Cornier said that the NFL is the most powerful organization. It's one of the most powerful. One of the most powerful. Sports wise. No, like one of the most powerful organizations. Just period. Well, think about it. Name another organization, private or public, that can get states to give them $250 million and then the team still keeps the stadium. They're like the biggest gangsters there is. Dallas Cowboys are worth $5 billion. Well, it brings in revenue, right? For who? The, the city. No, it doesn't. That's, that's the excuse. Yeah, sure it does. It brings in revenue. There's local bars and, uh, and stuff that people stop at. There's... The Tim Hortons right by the uh, by My the stadium fit. now. I'm sure that brings in a lot of revenue at the Tim Hortons. I'm sure Kathy Hochul very much cares about the revenue being brought into the local Tim Hortons. It's got to be it, right, David? Because it's just my fifteen dollar order at sixty thousand people is making up for a billion dollars in a few <laughs> years. <laughs> These people are building the camps to reeducate you, your children, which is why you tune into Dave and I to get reeducated. <laughs> Dave Ryan, December 1773. I'll cut you guys Monday through Friday for the December Daily Show at 7 p.m. YouTube, Rumble, Facebook. And Mostly I'll be there. Rumble, though. Go to Rumble. Mostly Rumble, and I'll be here until they snipe me. Dave Ryan, see you later. Thanks, everyone. Well, re education. Re education. Imagine them rolling me out after re education. I'm like drooling on myself. Like, what's your favorite color, Ryan? Square. My favorite color is square. All right, we'll see everyone tomorrow for Ryan's record. Thanks. <laughs>